Hello and welcome to the finals with this busted deck. We're on the play again, which is perfect. And this hand is everything we would ever want. It's kind of a theme. Just any hand with Eternal and a bounce spell or some way to give it evasion is kind of just busted. Um, it might start storming, so sorry. But rain is really loud on my roof. So if that affects the audio, I'm really sorry. But I cannot control the weather. Um, so here, almost for sure we're going to play Eternal on turn 3, especially if we draw another one. Okay. Binding Mummy on turn 2. If my opponent plays a 2-drop, maybe I play the Champion, but just having Eternal in play is so great. If I draw Bounce Spell, it cycles and makes them use a bunch of mana. And if I don't draw Bounce Spell, then usually I can just get in for 2. Ooh, Wretched Camel, the bane of my existence. Well, I can attack for two at least. And I guess that does not profitably block Eternal. So, not the worst. And I can Champion of Wits to try and find an Unsummon. Or that. That's kind of nice. Right? 2-4, they can't kill it because I can just first strike the camel away. Yeah, okay. So, at least getting in for 2. Yep, take two. This, I've played against zombies a lot lately. I think here, double white I want, so I'm going to play planes and then champion. And totally willing to discard these islands. Ooh, Mighty Leap is great. Finding a zombie would be also nice, but Mighty Leap is two mana. 4 damage to my opponent's face, draw a card. In most cases. Okay, Vizier makes me feel much more safe making this play. I'm gonna keep this island to discard to the camel. Although, actually, if I just play it in the Mighty Leap, I don't even have to discard. But I think they've torn into Venom, is my guess. And deciding if to play it. Splendid Agony, sure. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Uh... Yeah, if I attack, they're just gonna block with those who serve. So I think I'm just gonna... Mighty Leap the Eternal get my card and some damage. And then with Binding Mummy back, I'm probably doing okay. Or not back, but like, maybe I can like tap out some creatures or I draw like land plus floodwaters. That'd be pretty sweet. Ooh, Avon's nice too. Um, if there's a desert card, target player discards. I'm gonna keep the land in hand. I would much rather have Avon than this land. 
even just blocks all their creatures, and they don't have any way to deal with flyers right now. Eh, so it deals with flight and bat. No haste. Strange. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, if we can find a way to not kill camel, floodwaters is gonna be brutal. Uh, no good attack still. So even though Eternal has no power, it can still get in for two damage. What is this? Okay, Angel of the God Pharaoh is annoying, but not the end. Um, still no great attacks. I think I'm gonna keep consigned to Oblivion in hand. And I can set up a turn where like at end of turn consign, floodwaters hit for a bunch. They have to replay all of their spells. Also the storm is really coming in. You probably can't hear it yet, but you will. Um Try to think of what they could do. Vizier of Remedies makes me feel much more at ease against a black deck. Unconventional tactics. So it gets big. Sure. So you can hit me for five. That actually doesn't bother me so much. Honed Kopash is also fine. Yep, for six. But it's only a one time hit. So I take some damage, but that's not the end of the world. Yep, camel's bigger. So if I draw a land, this is so brutal. Bounce your six drop. Land. Okay, not a land, but still pretty good. Uh, so they can always equip Honed Kopesh. Oh, I messed up. Binding Mummy can tap down those who serve. Duh, that was a mistake. Okay. One on the punt counter. Although, I don't really want to discard this Floodwaters. So, Avon can attack for three. Um, the question is, do I save this Eternal? I think the answer is... No. Because that's at the minimum four points of damage. Yep, tap you down, sure. And if they want to tap out for their angel, that's fine. We can bounce that plus maybe those who serve. Yep, you can hit me for three. Okay, so we hit our land. If we bounce Angel plus those who serve, what happens? We have to discard what we draw from the Wretched Camel. Which I don't like. But they take a lot of damage. Okay, let's go through the blocks. It's really starting to rain. <laughs> Uh, we block bounce these two. Blighted Bat blocks Avon. Wretched Camel blocks Binding Mummy. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, and I draw two cards at the minimum. I discard one of them from the camel. Hmm. 
But I kind of want to draw cards because then I can embalm champion wits next turn and then with binding mummy. So we're going to cast this, bouncing the 6 drop because that's just annoying for them to cast. And maybe just the wretched camel. My cards are, I think are more, well this is going to die at any point. Yeah I'm going to bounce these two. And just swing out. Hard to go for this. Hard for this to go particularly wrong. Um, Eternal first truths. A zero two first striker. <laughs> but if they block both of these eternals, they take one two three four five six seventy nine ten ten. Actually, wait. If they block one of them, that's one two, three four, five six seven eight, nine ten. So if they block one, they go. Um, yeah, so I, I took a lot of time to think just to make sure that this play was good. Um, maybe it was a bit too long, but I like I like to be thorough with what I'm doing, so sorry for the viewers. If you think I'm playing slow, let me know in the comments and I can go a bit faster. I just have to top deck with my non-deck. Okay. First strike. I'm gonna discard the Drake because on summon's great. What does he mean this is not a deck? So unsummon lets me get in for a couple more points and makes it really hard for them to block. This is the Eternal of Hearts Truths deck. I don't know. I don't know what they're confused about. <laughs> the the bounce. This is a real deck. It's going three and zero. Okay. <laughs> Yep, they're getting that back, equipping Hone Kopash, and they're just dead. So, bounce you, swing for lethal. <laughs> okay, so, black white zombies again. Uh, sorry, just having some fun with my opponent. <laughs> uh, Mighty Leap, I've slotted it in against just like decks like theirs that kind of flood up the board. Mighty Leap is quite good with these Eternals. And I'm just gonna keep this plan of setting on a single land. Seems good. Alright. Game 2. Gotta prove to my opponent that this is a deck. Look, we have a lot of lands, but Champion of Wits filters them out. Not a problem. Uh, okay. Still filters them out. So it's like we drew one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like we drew four lands. Okay, Vizier is actually quite good. I don't think I'm going to trade because I want to trade my Champion of Wits away. And this prevents any shenanigans they might have. Yeah, no blocks. Champion of Wits is the card I will be blocking with. How did they exile it last turn? Or last game? I forget. No! Camel, the bane of my existence. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I just play Eternal. They can't really attack anymore. 
Um, no attacks. I don't mind discarding a land to the camel. Yep. Look at this guy. <laughs> More eternal of harsh truths. Is that what we want? I think so. Sorry, I'm being called. So many sounds are happening right now. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna tag. My opponent has no attacks. Now we can play our champion. Yep. Gonna discard some lands. Ooh, essence scanner. So I don't want all of these islands. Now we can counter any big plays they might have. And they really just can't attack because of Turtle of Hearts Truth. And then even Initiate can start hitting in the air, and I can block with Champion of Wits, trade it away for something. And I have enough to play Aven, Initiate, and keep up Essence Scatter. Ooh, uh, Initiate first. I really want to just keep up the Scatter. And then we just start beating down in the air. No attacks. Sure. They must have a lot more Splendid Agony type effects. Which is a little worrisome. Uh, Rot Beast? I don't mind. Really just worried about flyers. Uh, Rot Beast I can just trade for with Champion. It's not a big deal. Okay, land is nice. Now we can play the Drake. Hit in the air. They have no blockers. And we actually have a really pretty fast clock in the air now. So we can counter this Angel when they play it. And they're probably just going to get really mad. But we saved that Essence Scatter this whole time. Now their camel does nothing. And if we draw some bounce spells, then they're just done. I think I'll actually just gonna attack. <laughs> uh, my internet just went down. Whoa. Hang on. Okay, we're back. A lightning strike just took out all of my internet. That was insane. Uh, I'll explain after I finish this game. But I need to trash talk my opponent first. Okay. <laughs> yep, getting in for damage. That's 9 in the air, they're dead next turn. Actually, it's 10 in the air. Okay, uh, I guess we won. Um, they decided in Gideon's defeat against me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, ah, 2-0. 2-0. Okay, 
I think they can see it. Anyway, yeah, lightning took out my router, and it's about to start storming really crazy, so I'm gonna stop recording for today, but thanks for watching. This deck was awesome. Uh, let me know if you think it's a non-deck, and I'll see you guys next time.